warmer weather means budding flowers, green leaves to our trees, and more time spent outdoors. But some of Mother Nature's treasures can wreak havoc on someone suffering from asthma. I'm Kristen Perfetio. Coming up on Health Minute, presented by Hallmark Health, we'll take a look at asthma. I'm here with Dr. Jingli Ma, who is a pulmonologist at Hallmark Health, and today we're going to talk a little bit about asthma. Asthma is very common chronic uh, inflammatory airway disease can affect anyone and they're characterized by recurrent wheezing, cough, and chest tightness. And most people have shortness of breath during the time. What are some of the environmental factors involved with asthma? Irritants, like smoking and the moles, carpets in the house, dark cats are a very common trigger for asthma attack. And also medications can trigger uh, asthma attack too, like NSAIDs, aspirin. I see a lot of patients uh, have asthma attack triggered by uh, pollens. Uh, rockways, uh, trees outside. Um, so what we can do is to prevent those triggers and people can use some inhalers prior to uh, going outside. How does someone prevent asthma? So first is to avoid the triggers. If they can't really avoid triggers, they have to, they need to take some medications like rescue inhalers even before they're going outside. And also, uh, depending on the severity of the asthma, they need to take uh, the basic inhalers they need to take before they go outside. Okay. So should people with asthma exercise? Definitely. Actually, it's recommended to do exercise for patients with asthma. The only thing they need to do is to uh, take some inhalers 10 to 15 minutes before they do exercising. Okay. And do see the difference. Unfortunately, asthma is not curable, but we know the mechanism. We know how to avoid the asthma attack. So uh, if you feel like you do have uh, asthma attack, it's better to talk to your doctor and for uh, some advice. What's the treatment strategy for someone with asthma? We have to monitor frequently, monitor the symptoms and the lung function. The second important thing is patients need to know the plan and when to take the medications and how often they need to take the medications. The third very important factor is to avoid the triggers like we discussed before. Have there been some new advances as far as treating asthma? It's really recommended to use uh, inhalers with correct techniques. Okay. Like it's recommended to use air chamber with the medications so the, med so the patient can absorb more medication after one to two puffs of those inhalers. 